thinking about the family. I actually made these as a surprise for you. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> this present will self-destruct if you don't take it in three, two, one. Oh. Any chance you maybe know something about last night with the magic? <gasps> you do! I've been chasing this guy for three months. I've got him dead to rights. Fingerprints, witnesses, it's in the bag. So I'm just gonna grab a healthy breakfast. Breakfast burrito, but yeah. Joke's on you, I don't have a dentist. No, I'm just making funny faces at him. This mirrored glass is awesome. It straight up works. It is actually. That's how I got him last time. Let him stew for a little bit, got in his head, and he confessed. Abuela says it's time. Oh, and Lisa, I heard her eye twitching all night. Grew to live in fear, Bruno stuttering or stumbling I can always hear him sort of muttering and mumbling I associate him with the sound of falling sand The only one worried about the magic is you And the rats talking in the walls Tonight, he wants five babies I know Beat up and found Bruno's vision, she's in and she's gonna destroy the magic and now we're all doomed! Bro, hey! Don't you one minute me, I will break that finger off. Hang up that phone. Shut up. Okay, okay. Hang up now. If you're that desperate, the first two paragraphs of the article are on the free site. Hmm. You have one minute to look it up. And then if I catch you on that phone again... But don't worry, I'm due for an upgrade and my babies are on the clock. You ready, Sarge? I was born ready. And then I was not born ready for a while, but now I'm back to being born ready. Oh, my stars, darling. Hello there. I do! Fabulous, darling. Afraid to get dirty? I simply cannot let such a crime against fabulosity go uncorrected. <laughs> that doesn't even make any sense. How can you be so insensitive? When the Temple hasn't specified any reasonable person would default to Lento. He wrote, the number eight, equal sign, 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 capital D. Fantastic news. Are you saying my life matters less because I don't conform to society's heteronormative, child-centric ideals? Pay no attention to him, Rosa. He's very emotional, Rosa. Why are you saying my first name? Well, Rosa. Like, I'll book a ticket on some garbage airline. You know, I don't want to name an actual airline, so let's just make one up. Let's call it, like, Delta Airlines. So I'll book a ticket <laughs> on Delta Airlines. And I'll show up at the airport, and I go, can I get on the plane now, please? And they go, no. It's delayed nine hours. And I go, okay. And then I go to the bathroom. And then I come out of the bathroom and I go, any updates? And they go, yeah, we took off while you were in the bathroom. He says he wants more carrots and breadcrumbs. What happens when he has to pee? <laughs> or duty. Hi, Burger Sham. Are you going to go duty? <laughs> Your mom said to say I could have just one peanut butter square, but not till after they cool down. There is an idea of a Patrick Bateman. Some kind of abstraction. But there is no real me. Only an entity. Something illusory. And though I can hide my cold gaze, and you can shake my hand and feel flesh gripping yours, and maybe you can even sense our lifestyles are probably comparable, I simply am not there. You got a name? You want to tell me what it is? Deep down, I'm really superficial. And don't get me wrong, you're cute. You're a nobody. <laughs> oh, let me guess. She told you that she loves you. Is that it? <laughs> I mean, it's not like you feel the same way about her. <laughs> oh. Wait, are you dumping me? You know, Shark Slayer, there's only one thing I like better than money. Revenge. Holy crap! Donald Trump! Hello, Peter. Welcome to Fortnite. 